All right, now I want to talk about something that is probably the most important part of the Federal Reserve System, and that is what's called the Federal Open Market Committee, or the FOMC. The Federal Open Market Committee meets eight times a year to discuss the economy. So they meet eight times a year to discuss the economy to determine is the economy doing well in each of their districts, should steps be taken to either expand or contract the economy or leave it alone, and of course the most important question, should they increase or decrease the money supply. The structure of the Federal Open Market Committee is essentially the seven member board of governors that we found in Washington DC and then all of the regional bank presidents. And you can see this picture here. This is an example of one of their meetings. And you can see Ben Bernanke, if you look real close, he's right here. But the rest of the district presidents are surrounding Ben Bernanke. Now, when they make decisions, five of the 12 regional bank presidents will be voting members at any given time. And they revolve. There's four different ones each time they meet. The only one that is concrete is the New York Fed. And the New York Fed is a permanent voting body on the Federal Reserve Open Market Committee. And, of course, we can think of New York as sort of the financial capital, not just the United States, but the entire world. Ultimately, the Federal Open Market Committee's decisions are to increase or decrease the money supply to affect the monetary system in the United States. Here's a graphic representation of sort of how it works. You've got the Board of Governors. Okay, again, you've got the seven-member board. And they're appointed by the president, 14-year terms, oversee the banking system and the Federal Reserve System. You've got the 12 district banks, all cast throughout the United States, which are, again, responsible for their respective districts. You've got the member banks, and the member banks are essentially the banks that we're familiar with, like the Wells Fargo's of the world. The important decision-making part of the Federal Reserve is in the Federal Open Market Committee. Its composition is of these seven members and these 12 districts meeting together, where five of them vote at any given time to determine the monetary policy in the United States. So Federal Reserve System, very, very important part of this class, and typically one or two questions on the AP exam in the free response section.